Howie, I want to jump right into it and uh, talk about Adam Schiff, who should be in panic mode, uh, about the Russia probe transcripts showing what we knew all along. Zip, zero. They came up empty on collusion. Yeah, how many times did he say that he had uh, he had direct evidence of Russian collusion? Yeah, and he's a liar. Uh, now this he's is a going liar. to prove. I know exactly. You know, it's one thing to make a mistake and say, you know, uh, I, you know, I saw there there are there are six phone calls when they're five or seven, but I mean, just to keep lying about nothing about something that doesn't exist over and over again, and to think you're going to get away with it, and I, I you know, this guy uh, Rick Grinnell. I mean, I, I almost wish that. Uh, that John Ratcliffe is turned down. He's the one that's been having these Senate hearings, uh, whether to become the DNI director of national intelligence. Because if he's turned down by the Senate, that means that Rick Grinnell will get a year, another year as uh, the DNI, and he, he will just tear that place apart. He, he, does, he takes no BS from these guys, unlike, say, Christopher Wray. You know, it's really uh, it's really something. I'm so happy about uh, him being there. You know, there's another thing too. I didn't get to it yesterday, but uh, Fred Flights, who used to work on the uh, NSA, he's kind of a he was a whistleblower. Yeah. He says that uh, they have documents showing that uh, that the the intelligence community, so called, really thought there was a lot better evidence that Putin was rooting for Hillary Clinton rather than Donald Trump, because for the obvious reason that the Russians had already bribed the Clintons, you know? I mean, once, you, once you've corrupted a cop, you know, or a politician, you always want to deal with that person, right? Because you, you, you really own them, you know? You don't want somebody, uh, you don't want a new sheriff in town. The, you know, God forbid he should turn out to be an honest person or have the interests of the country rather than his own checking account at, uh, at, at heart. So, you know... This never made any sense, but they were just trying to frame the guy. I hope that I hope all that comes out as well. I can't wait to see Adam Schiff's reaction. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's going to spin wildly to uh, you know his uh, stenographers on the Washington Post and the New York Times about how he was honestly deceived by you know he thought these people were lying. Oh, it's just the, the usual BS, and they'll they'll be defending him, you know. Uh, but right. I, I right, just hope right. they, I just hope they uh, you know let it, let him twist slowly, slowly in the wind, as I think it was John uh, Ehrlichman used to say about Watergate. <laughs> Howie, by the way, a great interview yesterday with uh, Hogan Gidley, the uh, deputy press secretary. Great interview there. Oh, thanks, thanks. And, I hope uh, he uh, took my entreaty to uh, President Trump to, to be on the show again. Would love to have him on the show. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure he will. I mean, he promised that he wouldn't. I would uh, love to see that happen once again. Uh, I wanted to cover a few uh, issues with you. One is uh, someone that you talk about often, Rachel Rollins. Unbelievable. Yes. Unbelievable. She was uh, – she angered even the lefties by her comments. <laughs> Well, this is what happens. You know, I've said this. You know, if you, if you read history, Bill, you know, I mean, when, when a revolution starts, you can you can the people who start the revolution can never satisfy the uh, the 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 masses, the rabble, whatever you want to call them, the sans culottes, as they said in the French Revolution. You know, Robespierre, he was, uh, you know, he was leading the charge to guillotine everybody, but he was petite bourgeois. So eventually he had to. Uh, you know, uh, get his head chopped off, and that's that's what the, that's what's happening to these people. And they, uh, you know, if they if they studied history, they they would have, they would have known this is happening. This is why the founding fathers wanted to set up a system of government where there were all these checks and balances, so you couldn't have these these situations going out of control. This is all it, it, on the Democrat side. It's all identity politics. It doesn't matter how how good. Uh, you know, how good your politics is, you know, if you're not the right uh, skin tone or the or the right, uh, you know, gender uh, or, or sexual preference, it's, that's not enough. And, you know, what you know what, Phil, and then it's not ultimately enough to be the right skin color or the right uh, sexual preference, because look at the uh, look at Rick Grinnell with the guy right. we were just talking about. He's gay and they want to kill him, yeah. you know, or Clarence Thomas. Same thing. Candace Owens is banned from Twitter. 
because she dares uh, leave the plantation. It's really uh, – these people are really have become totalitarians. Absolutely. You're, you're so right. While we're on state uh, politics, what about Maura Healy Speaking opening up an investigation yeah, for yeah, well, uh, the Bristol County House of Correction? Unbelievable I here. I know. This well, is... I, I, you know, Hodgson was on. I, I, I guess you probably had him on, too, explaining what happened. I mean, it's, it's clear. I mean, they were just trying to, to set this thing up and uh, claim that they had to be released. And we had Tom Holman on yesterday from uh, ICE, the old ICE director. And he was talking. They're, they're letting all these people out of, uh, out of prison. And, uh, and, you know, they're letting Americans out of prison, too, at the state and the federal level. But you, you know what? I was looking at the list of, uh, of uh, people that have been released out of, the, uh, out of our district, the Eastern District of Massachusetts. Yeah. Uh, you know, because uh, Andrew Lelling, the U.S. attorney, has been posting it. And I, and I swear that you have a better chance of being released by a judge if you're an illegal alien criminal than whether, and then if you're an American criminal. I don't want any of them let out, but it's really ridiculous that they're letting oh, out man. the illegals ahead of the Americans. <laughs> That's so look sad. At the list and just look at, you know, the list is posted. I mean, I didn't do like a statistical analysis of it, but it's just, if, if you see an illegal name, an illegal's name, he is more likely to be released than an American. That's all yep. I can tell you. Yep, yep. Oh my gosh! Did you hear <clears throat> that the attorney, the um, lieutenant governor of Texas, volunteered yeah. to uh, pay for that fine? Mm -hmm. Did you Did you hear and, and the to go into, and to do her last uh, week in jail? Yes, unbelievable. Or, this is this this guy is really out of control, and and this is the thing that you, you know even in even in the red states you have these nutty uh, areas like uh, you know Dallas has gone crazy or partially crazy, uh, you know Houston uh, you have that uh, Colombian woman is now the county administrator she was she hasn't been a U.S. citizen but since 2013 she was born in Colombia she never even lived in the country till 2005 now she thinks she's the Cadillo of Harris County Texas and she wants to throw people in jail for not wearing masks the houston police just told her to go uh pound sand you know yeah, exactly. I mean, this is insanity and the, the judge in the uh, judge the administrator in, in dallas is just as insane you have the uh, da in travis county which is uh, austin you know she tried to frame governor perry a few years back i mean again I, this is in texas you have these little little desk third world despots arising yeah. up and uh, they just uh, they they don't see they're totally unmoored to the Constitution or law. Yep, absolutely. Um, I, I'm I'm so concerned about the uh, Tara Reid Joe Biden uh, story and how the uh, progressives are treating this. And uh, I mean, we 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 truly do need to keep uh, pressure on this story, Howie. Very important. Yeah. No, I agree. I, I agree. He's uh, he, he's just uh, asking for the double standard again. There, there's there's not even a uh, a a a semblance of any kind of uh, equal justice or equal treatment under the law. They wanted to to lynch Brett Kavanaugh. I still remember that day. Julie Swetnick went on the, the woman that made up everything about uh, Brett Kavanaugh running a rape gang. She was older than him, a different part of the county. They went to different high schools. There's no way she ever would have known this guy. And she just goes, she, Michael Avenetti, who's now a jailbird, he puts, he puts her forward, and then NBC leads the newscast with her, just lying through her teeth, totally unchecked, unvetted information. ABC, Bill, has had an interview with Tara Reid for five weeks, and they haven't touched it. It's like NBC with uh, doing the interview with Juanita Broderick after she said she was raped and they refused to put it on uh, the network, yeah. even though everybody on the, the camera crew and the reporter believed it, they, because they have to protect Democrats. There's, there's not even there's not even a pretense of uh, uh, of any kind of objectivity. They're all just Democrat operatives. Yeah. Well, the reason we need to uh, stay on it is you know that uh, Biden's going to hide and the media is going to help him hide and they're going to cooperate with him. So this is why we need to uh, continually right. press this story. Continue. Right. I'm still not sure. I, are you sure he's going to be the nominee? I mean, he's, uh, no, I'm mind. not. I, I'm not. And actually, <laughs> I thought it was going to be Andrew Cuomo to tell you the truth. But yeah, the I don't know if you heard the latest, Howie. Cuomo, 
What? Howie, the latest yesterday, Como was shocked to find 84% of the coronavirus hospitalizations were occurring in people largely sheltering in place, <laughs> <laughs> meaning at home. I mean, in other words, he didn't look at any of the medical research and expertise that told him that it's exactly what was going to happen. And that's why Sweden didn't have any lockdowns, and they've handled it as well, or if not better, than the countries that have had a lockdown. How about the fact that he let all the people that were infected go back into the nursing homes? Yep. And then claimed he didn't know about it. And the nursing homes were saying, why don't you send them to the Javits Center or the hospital ship? And he re- he refused to do so. They were in those Those places were empty. And so they went back into the hospital, reinfected literally thousands of uh, nursing home uh, uh, frail patients and killed them. Yep. And, and he's going on and attacking Trump. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I had to get a laugh out of uh, the uh, president's orders that uh, the uh, wall be painted black. Did you hear about this? <laughs> no, I didn't hear about that. Oh, it's classic. He says painted black. Because the uh, sun will make it too hot to touch. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's, I hadn't even thought of that. That's good. I thought it was a tribute to the Rolling Stones in their early period. <laughs> oh, that's even better. Painted black, Rolling Stones. You remember oh, getting your Yaya's yeah, yeah, out there, live album. They have this woman screaming from the front row, painted black, painted black, you devil. <laughs> 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 Love it. <laughs> Howie, uh, we want to send everyone to your website, howiecarshow.com. And uh, right there on the top, you'll see the special about the uh, free book with every t shirt order uh, Buy American, Support America, nice Navy t shirt. And by the way, if your order is more than $49.95, you get free shipping. Now, obviously, Mother's Day is this Sunday, so don't expect it for them. But what a great deal, a free book with every T-shirt order. Howie, love having you with us. Paint it black. Say, say a prayer that the golf courses will be open before the, uh, before the next ice age. Massachusetts is now proudly the last state to keep the golf courses closed. I know they're not open in New Hampshire until Monday, but Massachusetts is the last state. Thank you, Tall Duvall. I'm hearing. <laughs> I'm hearing that uh, he may come out today and uh, announce that uh, they could open as soon as, maybe as soon as tomorrow. But we'll have to wait and see if that's true or not. Oh uh, wow! In he's, the he's so he's so beneficent to his his subjects, isn't he? He's oh. so kind to us. Oh my God! Do us a, a big, big favor, Howie, and please wish the mailroom manager a very, very happy Mother's Day. Please. Yes, it's her birthday today, too, Phil. Wish her a oh, happy birthday. God, fabulous. Double, double hugs. All right, Howie, thank you so, right. so much. Okay. Thank you, Phil. You. Best to everybody. Happy Mother's Day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We will be tuned in this afternoon, 3 to 7, for the Howie Car Show, right here on 1420 WBSM.